I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're down here uh, just outside of Young Dundas Square. Uh, off to the east, you can see that one cloud. I don't know if you can see it right down Dundas. It's producing a little rain shower out there over toward the uh, beaches area. In, in fact, just uh, along basically Kingston Road. Just working its way through. Let me show you here on Storm Tracker what's happening. You'll see that little pop up shower there into East York and continuing out over portions of Lake Ontario. When you take a look at the satellite and radar combo, you'll see we had that one wave of showers that came through, making it 12 out of the last 15 days that we have seen rain. We have a dry day on the way tomorrow, though. That's the good news. High pressure is going to start to build in for us. So basically, the air that you're seeing from Windsor out to Minneapolis, that's the break that we're into. And then tomorrow night, the wet weather returns, and we're going to continue with the chance of showers and the risk of thunderstorms. But you'll also notice that if you were to basically cut this graphic in half, on the right-hand side, you have the well below seasonal temperatures. And on the left-hand side, you've got some warmer air. Well, that's where we're going to be getting into. That warmer air is on the move and it will arrive tomorrow with temperatures returning to the seasonal mark, which is about 25. So we do have that uh, bump up in temperatures coming our way as we see a little shift in the wind. Taking a look at our future weather makers, the plan is this dry during the day tomorrow, rain returning throughout the overnight. It does arrive with the risk of thunderstorms, though, as we get into the early morning on Thursday, and a lot of the heavier precipitation is going to fall north of the city. And continuing in through portions of cottage country and in and around the Hall and Marsh, unfortunately, another round of heavy rain possible early in the day, and then it'll be scattered showers, and those scattered showers are expected to linger into Friday. They'll also hang on into early Saturday. I think by mid morning on Saturday, we're into some drier weather, and I think by fireworks time on Canada Day, we'll dry things out. The Futurecast model shows you just a little bit of high cloud cover moving in through midday tomorrow. More of that cloud as we get into the evening throughout the overnight. The first chance of showers on the north end of the GTA closer to 3 o'clock in the morning. It will be wet for the morning commute on Thursday here for the greater Toronto area, and we will see a couple of those heavier pockets of rain still hanging on. So those rainfall projections are been in the ballpark of about about five to ten millimeters here for the city of Toronto and for the areas around Toronto, but higher amounts once you get north of the Oak Ridge Moraine and along the Niagara Escarpment. Some of those spots do have the potential of picking up 30 to possibly 40 millimeters of rain. 16 degrees expected here this evening. The skies clear a cool, fresh start to the day tomorrow. We'll see temperatures near 11 degrees. It will be a dry day, but you may want to hold off on the car wash because of the rain that we have on Thursday. Temperatures will be near 22 by midday and then in the afternoon. A high of 25 degrees in the forecast. Seven day looks like this 25 25 scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms during the day Thursday. We'll get into a little bit of a muggier feel as we get into the day on Friday with temperatures warming up to 28 degrees in a few of those scattered showers. Morning showers on Saturday, but dry into the afternoon. Dry Sunday could see a brief shower Sunday night into Monday morning. The timing might be great though, because a lot of that will happen when folks are asleep and then we'll have a dry daytime on the holiday Monday. And then as we get into Tuesday, a partly cloudy sky. That's a check on your forecast.